Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Glam Polish, Wizarding War, and MoU London, Trend Hunter Collection 02. So I'm going to start this manicure off with my Nail Teaks Formula 2. And here is Glam Polish. And this one is Wizarding War. Another beautiful flaky polish. I'm hooked. So we're going to go in with our first coat of this one. I adore out of all of the ones that I've tried with the flakies and whatnot in it. I love this one. I love that base color. It's just so light and dainty and then those flakies just pop. Oh my goodness. It's got a really good formula. And that is the first coat. Got to break out woody hair and do a little bit of cleaning up. Oh, gorgeous. Here we go with our second coat of Wizarding War. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I don't know which video is going up first. I've told you this in the other video I recorded. I'm moving my room around, rearranging some stuff, um, trying different tripods. So if there's a little bit of shakiness in this video, um, I apologize. I'm going to top this one with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down. Two coats is all I needed for, for that glam polish, so it's just it's amazingly beautiful and perfect on two coats. Love it. So here comes my swatch photo of this all on its own. Look how pretty. My lighting's a little yellow looking. Apologize. I'll be using the Trend Hunter Collection 02. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybelline's Color Show Bold Gold. Not a stamping polish. And Clean Colors Metallic Fuchsia, also not a stamping polish. I'll be using a couple of clear stampers and my clear jelly scraper card. I'm trying to cover that image pretty well because it is a very large image with lots of places to, you know, get that polish. So there we go. Look at that pickup. So I'm going to do two decals today. See, there's the bouncing. I am so sorry. Um, you, you just don't know though until you get into the gist of it and start recording and then look at the footage so we will be working on fixing that for you another excellent pickup I am gonna just fill this in with that color uh, I mean that clean color metallic fuchsia <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and fess up this manicure is one of those that just continues because I thought this was all I was gonna do right here and I really was just going to do this, but um, turns out that magenta, fuchsia, whatever I'm filling it in with right now, um, it ends up eating the gold stamping polish under it to where it just looks like I have blobs on my nails. You'll see. I'll show you because I share everything. So we're going to, um, well, I'll just, I'll just wait and let y'all see. So. But I am filling that in with a little dotting tool, trying to be very careful to stay in the lines. And I had to get some more polish on my mat. There we go. We're going to finish this one up. And I will uh, also let you guys know that this polish right here stained my mat and both of these stampers. They can be saved. I will do another video on that one. I don't know if any of you have ran into that. I have. And I don't remember who I learned this little trick from, but... There is a trick, trust me, you can save them. So you can still see the gold right now. It's still showing, but later it disappears. I have already applied the sticky base coat from Pro FX on my middle nail. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it on this other nail. These are going to be my two accent nails today. And I have let these fully dry. Now I'm just going to try to figure out which way I want to put them on my nails and you can still see the gold a little bit still now but here in a little bit I'm telling you that gold outline just totally disappears and I was just beside myself with it I was like what I am gonna take a little cuticle tool around the edge and kind of cut this uh, excess decal off as you can tell, that's very nice and dry, almost crunchy, but it stuck to the nail really well. I think I timed it just right. Um, 
it's different depending on what polishes you use and how thick you go on it. So I hate to give you all the time and it be totally not right. So I've trimmed it with some scissors also. Doing some more mushy down, mush it down. And now I'm going to tap it with some acetone on the end and go around the edge just to tidy it up just a little bit. Now they are starting to look like just magenta blobs here. I mean, there's, it's starting to transform already. You can still see a little bit of the gold outline on the flowers, but I've never had it do this before, so this is pretty wild that you see it and then you don't. I will share, because like I said, I share it all. I am cleaning that up pretty well. Mushing it down. So there we go. I am going to top this one with some of the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. And maybe it's the top coats that made the gold just disappear. Because you can still see a little bit now. A little blurry, but, but they're turning into blobs. And now I'm going to top it with some posh top coat and seal it in. But I do like sharing everything because if I'm having these sort of issues, chances are you've had them or will have them or, you know, it's just good for us to all share our little tips and tricks. And so they're, now they're blobs. They're just fuchsia blobs in the corners. Yep, there's a swatch photo of that. I'm going to use the Funky Fingers now in black. This is the Dark Knight. And I'm just going to stamp right over the top of that. I'm going to use my friend Kat said when she doesn't like her manicure, she just keeps stamping until she gets something she can live with. So that's what I'm doing here today. I'm trying to figure out how these flowers were positioned. So I can do an overlay stamping. There we go. Okay, much happier. <laughs> I'm cleaning that up with some tape, the excess. It's coming up rather well. I love using that Dark Knight from Funky Fingers for stamping. Again, not a stamping polish, but man, it works good. So I'll be topping it with some more Born Pretty Top Coat. Sealing that in without smearing it. Very nice. And I know that that pattern, um, the like checkered pattern behind it is kind of a little wonky looking, but that's how I got stamped the first time. So, And now I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and call it finished, finally. I'll be honest though, I did wear the blob manicure, you know, the second photo. I wore it for a couple of days before I did this. No, a day. There we go. So here's my swatch photo for this one. Let me know what you think about it. I would love to hear from you. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.